Hello and welcome. My name's Kurt. This is my fun quiz number 213. You want to take part? Simply grab yourself a pen or a pencil, some paper, jot down your answers. Simple as that. I'll give you all the questions first, all the answers at the end, and the whole quiz takes just over 30 minutes. So good luck and enjoy. This particular quiz, we have six rounds and your rounds are food and drink, TV, a connection round as always, geography, general knowledge, and as always, some pictures to finish off with. If you're ready, let's begin. Round one, food and drink. Question one, which country is referenced in the name of the hugely popular potato, vegetable, and mayonnaise salad dish? I love this dish, I absolutely love it. Which country? is referenced in the name of the hugely popular potato, vegetable and mayonnaise salad dish. I could eat this until it came out of my ears. Question two. What name is given to a carbonated soft drink in which quinine is dissolved? Mm. What name is given to a carbonated soft drink in which quinine is dissolved? On to number three. Traditionally, what are the spots in Spotted Dick? Are they currants, raisins or sultanas? <laughs> oh, that's a difficult one. But if you're not sure, choice of three. So traditionally, what are the spots in Spotted Dick? Currants, raisins or sultanas? Number four. Which two fruits make up the totally tropical taste of lilt? I'll give you one point for each correct one. Are you a lilt lover? So question four, which two fruits make up the totally tropical taste of lilt? Number five, Braeburn and Gala are types of what? Oh, the sun has gone in. I've suddenly got a bit darker. Braeburn and Gala are types of what? That is question five. Question six. Which vegetable would you expect to arrive if you ordered gobi in an Indian restaurant? So which vegetable would you expect to arrive if you ordered gobi in an Indian restaurant? Number seven. Which non-alcoholic drink is an essential ingredient of the dessert tiramisu? I always get this word wrong. Tiramisu. 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 Which non-alcoholic drink is an essential ingredient of the dessert tiramisu? Number eight. Which Swedish confectionery bar was marketed in the UK as being smooth on the outside and crunchy on the inside? So which Swedish confectionery bar was marketed in the UK as being smooth on the outside and crunchy on the inside? On to round two then. TV, your first TV question. Number one, what was the surname of George and Mildred? You have to be of a certain age to know this one. What was the surname of George and Mildred? I love George. <laughs> yeah, I can relate to George. Number two. In which show did Reg Varney play Stan Butler?
In which show did Reg Varney play Stan Butler? Question three. What was the name of the young blonde witch in Bewitched? What was the name of the young blonde witch in Bewitched? Oh, some classic TV questions here. Number four. Who played Doctor Who's companion? from 1966 to 1969. Then, in 1972, became Joe Sugden in Emmerdale Farm. So who played Doctor Who's companion from 1966 to 1969? Then, in 1972, became Joe Sugden in Emmerdale Farm. On to number five. Which comedian played Jim London in Up the Elephant and Round the Castle? So which comedian played Jim London in Up the Elephant and Round the Castle? Classic sitcom. Number six. Which character was the victim of Arkwright's sexual advances in Open All Hours? And, for a bonus point, what was her profession? Which character was the victim of Arkwright's sexual advances in Open All Hours? And, for a bonus point, what was her profession? On to number seven. Who played the part of the Sergeant Major in It Ain't Half Opmum? I love him as well. Love his character. Who played the part of the Sergeant Major in It Ain't Half Opmum? Lovely boy. And number eight, Oz, Bomber, Neville, Moxie and Dennis were characters in which 1980s TV series? In fact, I say 1980s, they actually went on to make more um, much later on. But they were the original. So Oz, Bomber, Neville, Moxie and Dennis were characters in which 1980s TV series? On to round three then, our connection round. What connects all the answers in this round? Can you get it? Question number one. What is the name of the coastal bay between Norfolk and Lincolnshire? What is the name of the coastal bay between Norfolk and Lincolnshire? Question two, what is the tale of a fox called? What is the tale of a fox called? And if you're not sure, I'll give you a clue. Boom, boom. That's your clue. Question three. What is the opening shot in a game of snooker called? What is the opening shot in a game of snooker called? Remember in this round, check your answers once you've got a connection. Make sure they do all fit. You haven't got a wrong word in there somewhere. Number four. What word means to pass on to or give something to someone secretly, such as a note? So what word means to pass on to or give something to someone secretly, such as a note? Number 
number five, what word precedes paper, which is impregnated with nitre for setting light to fireworks? So what word precedes paper, which is impregnated with nitre for setting light to fireworks? Has this given you a connection if you've got it right? If not, don't worry, a couple more questions. Number six, what is the location in a US courtroom where the parties and witnesses offer their testimony? So what is the location in a US courtroom where the parties and witnesses offer their testimony? And question seven, what word means to track a person, group or organisation by subscribing to their account on a social media platform? So what word means to track a person, group or organisation by subscribing to their account on a social media platform? That is question seven and question eight. What connects the answers for questions one to seven? Let's hope you've got a connection. Is it right? Well, we hope so, but we'll find out later. For now, we'll move on to round number four, geography. Question number one. Which square is in front of the Palace of Westminster? Which square is in front of the Palace of Westminster? You see this square quite often on the news, lots of protesters on it. Number two, in which country is Transylvania? Ooh, we all know who comes from Transylvania, don't we? Hmm. But in which country is Transylvania? Number three. What is the geological fault in San Francisco called? So what is the geological fault in San Francisco called? The rock appeared in a film recently to do with this. Number four, on which river does Sheffield stand? You'll know this if you're a Sheffield, if you come from Sheffield or if you're a South Yorkshire person, maybe you should know it. If not, mm, on which river does Sheffield stand? Have a guess if you don't know. Number five, which is the most easterly country in Africa? Is it Egypt, Somalia or Kenya? Oh, that's a bit of a tricky one as well. So which is the most easterly country in Africa? Is it Egypt, Somalia or Kenya? Again, choice of three if you're not quite sure, because I'm good to you like that. Moving on. Question six, what geographical name is given to an island group or island chain? So what geographical name is given to an island group or island chain? On to number seven. Flanders is an area in which country? Flanders is an area in which country? Very newsworthy at the moment of me doing this quiz. And finally, number eight, in which mountain range is Mount Everest. Should be an easy one for you. 
in which mountain range is Mount Everest? And that's your final geography question. On to uh, round five, general knowledge. Question number one is, what is the medical term for a bruise? What is the medical term for a bruise? Not quite sure. Think of uh, programs you watch, Casualty or Holby City or something like that. What do they call them? Number two. What instrument is used to measure radiation? What instrument is used to measure radiation? On to number three. Riyadh is the capital city of which country? Riyadh is the capital city of which country? Number four, Elmer Fudd is the arch enemy of which cartoon character? Elmer Fudd is the arch enemy of which cartoon character? You might have to be of a certain age for this one. Not quite sure. Moving on, question five. In which decade was VAT introduced in the UK? Another tax on the poor. In which decade was VAT introduced in the UK? And question six. What part of a weapon does a Fletcher make? Mm. Mm -hmm. What part of a weapon does a Fletcher make? <coughs> Excuse me. Number seven. The tibia is a bone in which part of the body? How well are you up on anatomy? The tibia is a bone in which part of the body? And number eight in Greek mythology. What is the name of the underworld? In Greek mythology, what is the name of the underworld? Moving on then to our final round, which is as always, pictures. Your first picture. Can you name this actor? Not character. Um, and can you name this actor? I love the character. Number two. What is the name of this actor? I love his character too. <laughs> What is the name of this actor? Number three. What is this character called? <laughs> He's my favourite. <laughs> I love him. 
What is this character called? <clears throat> Number four, what is the name of this actor? What is the name of this actor? Sadly, no longer with us. Died very young, tragically. Number five. What is the name of this character? What is the name of this character? You'll notice the theme, of course, of this round. Marvel, Marvel. Question six Can you name this actress? Can you name this actress? And number seven, oh, what is the name of this character? What is the name of this character? The head honcho, the big cheese, numero uno, whatever you want to call him. And finally, number eight, what is this actor's name? What is this actor's name? Latest one to play this character. There you have it. That is your final picture question. So, all your pictures, all your questions. Have you managed to answer them all? Do you know them all? Have you guessed? Are you, uh, are you feeling smug? Well, should we go through the answers and find out how you've done? Let's do just that. Here we go. Starting off, round one, food and drink. Question one. Which country is referenced in the name of the hugely popular potato, vegetable and mayonnaise salad dish? It's Russia. Russian salad. Oh, I love it. I love it. Number two, what name is given to a carbonated soft drink in which quinine is dissolved? It's tonic water. Number three, traditionally, what are the spots in Spotted Dick? And they are sultanas, traditionally. Did you get it right? Well, then, if you did. Number four, which two fruits make up the totally tropical taste of lilt? It is pineapple and grapefruit. Two points if you've got them both. Well done if you did. Number five, Braeburn and Gala are types of what? Types of apple? Number six, which vegetable would you expect to arrive if you ordered gobi in an Indian restaurant? You'd expect cauliflower to arrive. Number seven, which non-alcoholic drink is an essential ingredient of the dessert tiramisu? It is coffee. And number eight, which Swedish confectionery bar was marketed in the UK as being smooth on the outside and crunchy on the inside? It's not Toblerone, it's Dime Bar. Round two then, uh, TV. Question one, what was the surname of George and Mildred? It was Roper, they were the Ropers. Love George Roper. Number two, in which show did Reg Varney play Stan Butler? It was on the buses, I hate you Butler. Number three, what was the name of the young blonde witch in Bewitched? It Samantha. Number four, 
who played Doctor Who's companion from 1966 to 1969, then in 1972 became Joe Sugden in Emmerdale Farm, was Fraser Hines. Number five, which comedian played Jim London in Up the Elephant and Round the Castle it was Jim Davidson. Number six, which character was the victim of Arkwright's sexual advances, advances in Opal All Hours? And for a bonus point, what was her profession? Well, it was a Gladys Emmanuel, and she was a nurse, which I'm sure you got. Number seven, who played the part of Sergeant Major in It Ain't Our Fop Mum? It was Windsor Davis. <laughs> uh, I love him, I love him. And number eight, Oz, Bomber, Neville, Moxie and Dennis were characters in which 80s TV series it was Alfie Zane Pet. I think it went on to do five series, I think. OK, round three, your connection round. How do we get on? Question one. What is the name of the coastal bay between Norfolk and Lincolnshire? It is the Wash. Number two, what is the tale of a fox called Boom Boom Basil Brush? It's a brush. Number three, what is the opening shot in the game of snooker called? It is Break. Number four, what word means to pass on to or give something to something, someone secretly, such as a note? It's slip, you slip them a note, slip them a fiver, whatever. Number five, what word precedes paper, which is impregnated with nitre for setting light to fireworks? It's touch, touch paper. Number six, what is the location in a, a US courtroom where the parties and witnesses offer their testimony? It's the stand, take the stand. And seven, what word means to track a person, group or organisation by subscribing to their account on a social media platform? It's follow. You follow someone. And what connects the answers for questions one to seven? Well, the connection is up. Which I'm sure you got in the end. Well, then, if you did. OK, moving on. Round four, geography. Question one. Which square is in front of the Palace of Westminster? It is Parliament Square, where you can find people camping and protesting. Number two, in which country is Transylvania? It's Romania, where Dracula comes from. Romania. Number three, what is the geological fault in San Francisco called? It is the San Andreas Fault. San Andreas. Number four, on which river does Sheffield stand? It stands on the River Don. Number five, which is the most easterly country in Africa? Out of those three, it is Somalia. Number six, what geographical name is given to an island group or island chain? It's Archipelago. Archipelago. Number seven, Flanders is an area in which country? It is Belgium. So in the news at the moment, 80th anniversary of D-Day. And finally, number eight, in which mountain range is Mount Everest? It is in the Himalayas, which I'm sure you've got. Round five, general knowledge, question number one. What is the medical term for a bruise? It's a contusion. Number two, what instrument is used to measure radiation? That is a Geiger counter. Makes that crackly noise. Number three, Riyadh is the capital city of which country? It's the capital of Saudi Arabia. Number four, Elmer Fudd is the arch enemy of which cartoon character? It's Bugs Bunny. He's always trying to chase him and shoot him. Number five. In which decade was VAT introduced in the UK? It was the 70s. It was introduced in 1973. 
Number six, what part of a weapon does a Fletcher make? Well, the Fletcher makes arrows for a bow and arrow. Number seven, the tibia is a bone in which part of the body? It is the leg. Tibia and fibia are the bones in the leg. Number eight, in Greek mythology, what is the name of the underworld? Well, the underworld is Hades. Welcome to hell. OK, our final round then, your pictures. Here we go. Number one, can you name this actor playing Captain America? It's Chris Evans. Number two, what is the name of this actor playing Thor? It's Chris Hemsworth. Number three, what is this character called? He's Rocket. I love Rocket. Rocket is his name. Number four, what is the name of this actor? It's uh, Chadwick Boseman who played Black Panther. Number five, what is the name of this character? That is Mantis. Number six, can you name this actress? That is Brie Larson. Number seven, uh, what is the name of this character? That is head honcho Nick Fury. And finally, number eight, what is this actor's name playing Spider-Man? It's Tom Holland. So I'm sure if you're a Marvel fan, you've got all those correct. And did you get all the others correct? That's it. That's another quiz done and dusted. So all your answers are in. I hope you've done well. I hope mainly you had a bit of fun going through the quiz. If you did have a bit of fun and enjoyed it, have a go at another one. Why not? Lots on YouTube. And if you enjoyed it, please share it. Let others know about it. And if you want to let me know anything about it, please do so. Anyway, thank you. Thank you for joining me and thank you for taking part. I really do hope you enjoyed it. And uh, I hope that you'll take part in another one again sometime. But for now, from me, all it remains to say is goodbye. So goodbye.